hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel uh in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can share your cctv camera footage across your phones okay okay for example you have a dawa dmss app how can you share your footage from one device to another or maybe he'll connect up for his vision how do you do this remember when you have your dvr and you want to you want to uh, view your dvr footage on your phone once you register you scan the qr code on your dvr it binds to your account so the account you have on your phone so either you are using Higvision, Dawa, or any other product, that particular account binds to that particular DVR. So no other person can use that same serial number to register that particular account. So the only way to get multiple phones to have that particular footage of that DVR is to share your account, is to share the device with other accounts, okay? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can share your camera footage with other accounts. Okay. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to be seeing how it can be done. All right. But in this video, I'm going to be using the word DMSS. So we're going to be seeing how you can do that using DMSS. Okay. First of all, this is my footage. Okay. So this one will be sharing. This is the particular DVR we're going to be using today. Okay, this DVR is online. And like I said, this particular serial number is already bind to a particular account. Any other account cannot use this serial number. So I'm going the only thing we're, the only way or the only thing we're going to do is to share this particular footage from the device. So uh, this is my phone. Uh, this is the phone I, I downloaded DMSS and already, I've already created an account on this DMSS and I've binded this account with my DVR. Okay, so if I open this, as you can see us, okay? So if you watch, show them the screen. If you watch, we are getting the footage on the phone okay so let's come back here mind you i've already done a full video on how you can set up your mobile phone to view the footage of your dvr so please you can go back to my channel and watch that i'm not going to do that in this video okay so i'm going to we're going to download dmss on this phone and we're going to share this footage to the account i'm going to create on this phone okay so let's download DMSS from App Store. So go to your App Store. Okay. So we're going to search for DM. SS. So like I said, this is the Dawa app. I'm using Dawa DVR for this tutorial. The same can be applied to other technologies. So um, I'm done uh, downloading it. I'm going to open the app. Okay, so register. So like I said, I already have a video on this, so I'm not going to be wasting time on this particular part. So I'm going to rush and do the registration. Agree. Skip. Okay, uh, this is the home page of the app. Okay. So I'm going to log in. Please check on that my video on how uh, you can create a DMSS account 
have a separate video on that is is uh explained detailed okay so i'm going to skip this sign up here i'm just going to log in so i'll log in okay okay so i've logged in now okay so if you watch here if you watch here you'll be seeing my name has displayed okay so let's go back to the admin phone okay now from this admin phone if you watch i have just one device okay just one device here which is cctv class so if i go to me here under here i click on device sharing i'll just be seeing that cctv class only now if I have multiple devices, maybe I register other devices here, you will see them. You see their names here. So once you click on share devices or device sharing, you will see all the devices listed. Okay. So anyone you checked on, that is one you can share. So if I check on all of them, if I have maybe like two or three here and I check on all of them, when I share uh, this uh, particular device, all the... Uh, cameras we have there will be sent to the next uh, phone okay that is this one so let's click on device sharing now in this particular place if you watch top here it's telling me that please I should enter the target DMSS account so the account we used to create uh, this uh, DMSS here is the one I'm going to input here now share permission the live view is always automatically uh, click anybody can see the live view okay then the video playback the alarm push notification and the device control are always an option okay so it's optional if you don't want uh if you want restriction maybe you don't want the person you want to send this device to not to be viewing the playback of your videos you can uncheck this okay so whenever if i send this device now to this person he will not be able to view the you will not be able to play back my videos okay so likewise the alarm push notification and the device control okay but well, in this particular video i am going to allow access to every uh options here all right so next now there are two ways you see that you input the account name that is the email address here or you scan what you have okay so this person sorry So this particular device here can send can send this QR code, like screenshot it and send to this device. Then I'll just like scan it from from my distance. Let me assume this person is one country and this person is another country. So I can screenshot this and send to this guy. What this guy needs to do is just to scan this code and the name or the account will just automatically pop up or he is going to send me his registration account which is this and i'm going to automatically type it in here and the account will be signed in the same way okay now in this case let me just use this scanner to scan this code so once it's been scanned the name will automatically appear okay now i'm going to send click on okay now he's saying the shared user will have some operation permission of the device after it is shared. Click OK to continue. Shared successfully. Okay. So you can now call this person and tell him to go back to his home page, which is here, and refresh. So once he refreshes, DMSS would like to find and connect to the device on your local network. Okay. So once it refreshes, the account, this device account comes here. Okay. So the footage you have now on this account is being shared here. Now, if I play it, now you can see us. Okay. So this is live view. So we have access to or the whole footage okay so likewise if uh if it has other devices let me assume i have the second dvr 
and I register it, it appears here. Once I share, once I come to this place, I'll see the DVR here. What I need to do is just click on it, share and take all the permissions I want, okay? So this can be done in diverse ways, okay? Like I said, you can restrict uh, a particular thing, permission. You don't want uh, the person you are sending the device to, to be viewed. Maybe like the playback you just saw, okay? So we might give a person access to just be seeing your live view, but you should not be able to view your your device playback okay so the same thing we did here can be done uh in as much device as possible okay so i can still share this particular device in many phones my tablet maybe to my computer or as many devices as possible all right now this same procedure can also be applied to other technology like heat vision and uh, every other ones, okay? So just understand this scenario and you can apply it to every other devices. Thank you guys. And uh, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, it's very simple. Just go to YouTube and click on the subscribe button. Click on the like if you enjoy, uh, if you enjoy my video and comment if you have any question at all. If you have anything you want me to clarify you on, comment in the comment section below. Our WhatsApp group link is also uh on the description below so just click on it and join the whatsapp group there are a lot you can learn there from professional from amateurs you know people are asking different questions nobody can ever be perfect so people are asking some questions that you might not have had before and answers have been dropped immediately in the group so thank you guys and see you in my next video